the special one does it again as Real Madrid close in on La Liga title. Blue moon rising as Man City creep above United. England have a manager at last. Yay! And it's Uncle Roy. It's not over until the fat lady sings or blows a whistle. Even then, you better make sure you're listening to the right one. Best and Verse is a belter. Award nominee Super Mario's back, and now he's cross-dressing. And we unveil the Premier League's newest wag. This is The Goalpost, and I'm Layla. Fact. Wednesday's win over Bilbao saw Real Madrid clinch their 32nd La Liga title, and it's their first since 2008, while the once unbeatable Barca have had to play second fiddle to their rivals. Well, joining me to talk La Liga is Goal.com's Spanish football correspondent Ashish Sharma. Hello. Hello. Now, what we really want to know is how did Real manage to bring down the great Barca? Great question. Well, basically, I think they outbarsed Barcelona, if you like. Uh, Barca traditionally, in, in winning all these titles, have been so consistent. But this season, I think Madrid really did a number on them. Uh, they drew fewer matches, they, they lost fewer games, and in the end, Barca just couldn't cope with that pressure. And I think what we saw was, in the end, an implosion, if you like, of Barcelona when Madrid ran away and won the title. And now Pep's gone, Barca have a new manager, and over in Madrid, it looks like Mourinho's weaved his magic. Yes, it certainly does. Look, Mourinho always says, judge me in my second season. And he did that at Chelsea, he did it at Inter, and he's done it here again at Real Madrid. And, and I think that's because he almost needs a season to, to acclimatise to, to the new country he's in. And now, as you rightly say, Barcelona have a new coach. We don't know much about him. And I think all Madrid fans out there are thinking, this is great. We're just going to see Madrid winning title after title, running off into the distance with all these trophies and Mourinho leading the way. Absolutely. Ash, thank you very much for helping us today. And don't forget to read Ash's thoughts on all things La Liga on Goal.com. Monday night's Manchester derby was a bit of a letdown after all that hype. The only real highlight was when a well-dressed Italian was spotted scrapping with an old Scottish bloke on the touchline. The other highlight of the night was when ex-Oasis frontman and City's resident celebrity fan and general loser Liam Gallagher gate-crashed the post-match press conference. Man City skipper and hero of the night, Vincent Company, looked pretty unimpressed. Gallagher looked to have had a skinful and had clearly been on a decent session. Earlier, he tweeted this photo with the description, Maradona shake the hand of God. Good gag, fair play. However, gate crashing press conferences stick to singing and being a bit of a knob, Liam. To no one's great surprise, Harry Redknapp has been named as England's new manager. <laughs> Hang on, is this last week's script? Oh, for fuck's sake, guys. To everyone's great surprise, Roy Hodgson has been named as England's new manager. This has been greeted with a big yawn in some quarters, but the old chap has certainly been around. He's got more stamps on his passport than Judith Chalmers. Over 36 years, he's managed 18 different teams. He won championships in Sweden, took Switzerland to the 94 World Cup, did OK with Finland and Inter Milan, and even coached the United Arab Emirates. Not bad for a boy from Croydon. Only when he got to Liverpool did the wheels really come. Off. Let's hope everyone's second choice isn't packing his bags again too soon. Just click on the link for more on Uncle Roy's epic journey. Well, our Roy has obviously had the best week in football, but who's had the worst? You can guess where I'm going with this, yeah? You got it. It's best and burst. Now, one of the many sporting cliches that no one listens to is play to the whistle. Well, Lazio's players did just that against Udinese. Trouble is, it wasn't the ref who was tooting, but some chancer in the crowd. They all stopped, Udinese's Roberto Pereira didn't, and everyone went apeshit. For a whistle-stop tour of this week's Best and Burst, just click the link. Time now for a new feature on the show as we focus on the lovely ladies who try to stop their footballers sleeping with other women. First, here's a closer look at the Premier League's latest wag, Katya Zingarevich. She is a Victoria's Secrets model. <coughs> bitch, she's also married to Reading's new owner, Anton. Quite what she sees in the Russian billionaire is anyone's guess. He may be stepping out with Italian stunner Raffaele Fico, but that's no bother for resident swordsmith Mario Balotelli. This week's lovely telling tales on Super Mario is 21-year-old Chloe Evans. She's revealed that he loves to dress up in a blonde wig and makeup and smother himself in coconut moisturizer whilst shaving himself all over. That is some scary shit. That's 
you a lot this week. Don't forget to subscribe as we have features, news and goals from Serie A, Ligue 1, MLS and loads more amusing and informative stuff on our channel, youtube.com forward slash goal. I'm Leila and I'm just off to chat up a Russian billionaire. See you next time.